you're not aware of some of these technologies and if you're not thinking about how they can be applied in different contexts. So the three C's that we are, that I think about for the passion economy, this is from my book that I'm working on, the way the world is moving, the rise of the passion economy, but it's creativity, collaboration, and context. So much of creating value in this economy and this moment in time is about contextualizing technology that's right there and it's free for everybody to use, but without that context, it doesn't have that meaning. Without that meaning, it doesn't have that value. So would you say that when you're looking at these different tools now in such a fast-paced world that like the AI world is, you're seeing with your background, especially like in the automation world, you're seeing new ways now to like contextualize things that were like formerly like how could you possibly automate something like this or this? And then you discover a tool that you're like, holy shit, like maybe this is how I could save something here because you've gone through like a certain experience so many times. Am I understanding that correctly? Yes. And I have a passion for local businesses and small businesses and rolling up sleeves and kind of figuring out those mom and pop marketing schemes. And, and then executing them. So having a deep empathy for whoever you're solving problems for is really the key to understanding context, right? So if you're really good with AI, if you're really good with WordPress, whatever it is, you can build a website with anything these days. I and mean, they've got AI that's building websites for you. So even that is really, it's going to come down to your ability to use natural language to describe what you want and then understanding why you're using language to say that in the first place, right? So it's going to become much more important to move up that Bloom's taxonomy and move towards synthesis and higher levels of reasoning where we don't have to memorize and that, that's just a waste of our energy. We have to think about how to put things together in ways that are meaningful for people. To bring it back to the local business example, and everyone's talking about you know, do SEO or SEO posts and blog posts using AI and just like grabbing for the low hanging fruit and everyone's coming out with another content generator like a Jasper wannabe or like a, a chat GP, whatever. It's all a race to the bottom with those platforms. Those are all platforms that are swimming in bloody waters. But if you were to take that same technology, let's take, let's look at GPT-3, give it a specific context. Okay. So if I'm thinking about a local business owner who doesn't know about or really care about SEO, the nuances of SEO and all these other things, like just like how authors don't really care about the nuances of setting up a funnel and pixels and conversion rates. They don't really care about that. They just want their book to sell and want to have enough command over their marketing strategy so that they can feel empowered to sell the book. Like they, they're not trying to become Billy Jean or Darby. They're not trying, they're not trying to become an expert in any of this. They're trying to just have enough command to move. And so there's so many different niches now that are begging for this type of endless or not, you don't even have to go for, for end to end frictionless, like we're doing with book blaster, which I think is a really great goal. And part of the reason why we're not swept up in the bloody waters of just another content generator, the founder of Calendly, he said in one of those interviews, Calendly just makes communication 1% more efficient. That's it. And they're a billion dollar company. So if you can make any type of communication, just 1% more efficient, if you can look at any niche and make communication, which is 90% of what we do as humans, make communication within that niche 1% more efficient, you can make enough money to take care of your family and do whatever it is that you love to do. That is what's most inspiring to me is that with deep understanding of pain, essentially, you can build a solution that even if it doesn't absolve that pain, if it just makes it a little bit better, there's a lot to be done.
No, I echo that statement with the, it all like always leading back to the deep empathy and having like meaning, like having like it actually have meaning behind it before beside just making another tool that's going to be just another content generator. 